ladies and gentlemen welcome back to video number two yesterday like i said me and my brother ended up reviewing the tommy gun tune so he ended up checking it out so if you guys want to check that video out link in the description he's going to give you the honest opinions of first hand what it sounds like besides myself he's seen the videos like you guys and he's gonna let you guys know if he thinks it's worth it or not but today it's a whole different story we're not reviewing anything like tunes today we're actually gonna be making his 2015 v8 coyote 5.0 so much louder so let them know what are we installing today uh we're installing course of extreme i have to look at the box real quick <laughs> i forgot but we're installing course of extreme uh on these uh gt uh i honestly it should have been factory with the, with, with the Corsa loud, but obviously it, it has to come you know shitty quietly. Yep. So uh, just <laughs> so just like you said, right here we got the Corsa Extreme. So are you ready to sweat and get this installed? I was born ready. You were born ready. Alrighty, guys. So we're gonna put this on the time lapse. I'm gonna put it on the tripod, and we're just gonna get the installment. And then I've already recorded the before how it sounds. It's ugly ugly like you said ugly sounds awful so hopefully this opens it up makes it sound so much better and then hopefully in the future when he comes back because he doesn't live in the same state as me so it's kind of hard to coordinate this but hopefully in the future we get him tuned by auto mafia as well because they know what they're doing and they do definitely do tommy gun tunes and burble tunes and all that on gts as well not just v6s so let's get the install in and we'll see you in a bit All right, well there you guys have it. We laid it out on the floor just to check it out. And that's gonna be replacing all the factory stuff. If I do remember correctly, I don't know if the GT has it or not, but I believe they have a resonator as well, which we're gonna be dealing with a double helix X pipe. And these mufflers 100% are gonna be way smaller than the factory ones. And it goes to a four inch pipe. So this is gonna be sounding so great and so aggressive. So let's get the uninstalling of the old one and then we're putting this one back on. Sometimes and I can't seem to find the light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before And now when I got you it's all gonna be alright Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I Alrighty guys, well there you guys have it. There's the stock exhaust. Holy crap. It is almost 9 degrees outside so we're sweating our balls off. But now with the course extreme this should be a lot easier because we're putting them piece by piece versus the factory where it's literally the resonator all the way to the end. So hopefully this section goes by quicker and I already know that this is going to look so much more better because one it is lighter. And just to compare the mufflers, this is the size of the Corsa Extreme. And then you go to the stock muffler, which this is so much huger. So this is going to sound so much meaner. What do you think about the new exhaust? Different beast. <laughs> oh my A lot God. better. A lot better. Right, we gotta go for a drive. One here is on the street. Yeah, we do. 
Alrighty guys, well there you guys have it. That is the first cold start of the car ever. As soon as we got done installing it, you heard it sound so mean. And of course, my brother Ken Wayne, he just revved in. Oh my god, that is that V8 screaming. It sounds so good. And of course, he already said his first reactions, which was oh, also good. So we're just about to head out, give it for a quick rip, and see how it sounds. So you think the, the time and effort so far was worth it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Pain in the ass, but worth it. So, and then of course, you know, I have done a lot of to my car, but it's no V8, it's no Coyote. So let's hear what a real Coyote sounds like. telling you before on even the cow or the cowdies they sound awful with stock stuff so oh man they do sound awful stock man they sound horrible and then just to let you know with a lot of exhausts there's a break-in period that usually the first 100 to 500 it gets a little deeper so hear another one all 400 i think 435 horsepower oh my god it feels so good when you get a chance downshift i want to see how it sounds when you downshift Thank you, chef. when he turned it on oh my god and definitely that that revving you definitely need to plug in your ears because oh that sounds mean video does not make justice it sounds louder in person than it does in video man it pops his eardrums if you don't plug your ears <laughs> i can definitely testify that videos especially with sound do not do these cars justice at all and he can testify from hearing the Tommy Gun tune. It is super loud in comparison to what it sounds like in video. And this is the same. Literally, when I was behind it on the first cold start. Oh my god. You literally need to plug in your ears. But I'm holding the camera, so I can't plug both in. But, oh, this V8 naturally aspirated sound is crisp. And now he got that drip No, when he hits it, just the seat starts to suck you in. You hear the exhaust scream. Oh, I can definitely hear more pops on this than on the stock. And, and, and you can feel a little bit more horsepower than with the stock uh, exhaust that it had. So you're telling me that the bi dyno is telling you it's uh, uh the bi dyno is telling me it's a pass. It's a pass. Oh my god again this is on a stock tune i don't know how well you can hear but when he blipped at the i think a second it literally started popping and crackling and that's no tune no nothing so that sounded really good <coughs> so let me get you another freaking rev to get out while he's doing this thing oh my god guys i gotta say i was i was waiting for this to happen but oh i can't wait there 
<laughs> you guys have it. That's your V8 5.0 with the Corsa Extreme. Oh my God. I don't know about you, but I think that was money well spent. Oh, hell yeah. Like I said, all stock V8s, manual transmission, they should come like this. Factory. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it changes the mood quickly. I gotta agree. I know that, you know, they put the stock ones for daily, daily drivability, but a lot of people who are buying these 5.0s are car enthusiasts, in my opinion. And you need something that screams. You need something that says this is an American muscle V8. And the stock stuff does not say that at all. But this right here, oh, oh, oh my God. This literally gives me the joy when I did my exhaust because it's literally a nut day difference. When you have stock everything and you finally start removing stuff little by little, it opens it up and sounds so good. But these Coyotes, I'm telling you, does not compare to the, the V6. Honestly, this is the first Coyote I heard in person. There's a lot of videos that I've heard, but that almost makes me want to get one. You trying to sell me your engine? I'll do a V8 uh, swap? No, can't do on that one, buddy. <laughs> it's fine. When we get this, the single turbo kit, we'll blow them in the water. So it's fine. Yay! I got it's alright. I can upgrade to a 350 or a 500. GT5. Oh my god, that'd be so nice. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> but you gotta do just the GT350 because the 350R has a, a rear seat delete and well. Well, technically, you can still buy the delete and, and have the delete, uh, no delete in the back. Well, you can't, but what I'm saying is you always have passengers in the back so you can't get the, yeah. the 350R. But. Man, oh man. What was that? I said, let's get 2,000 likes for this video. <laughs> you hear the guy in the back? Let's try to get 2,000 likes. And let's get him to 3 million. Okay, I don't know about that one, but... Alrighty, well there you guys have it. That's gonna be the end of this video. I'm so glad I was actually able to do something with my brother and make two videos. The first one was him looking at the Tommy Gun tune, which I think he absolutely loved it. And my personal favorite was just installing this. The install was awful because it is super hot, but the end result was so worth it. So do you have anything to say to the viewers? Uh, besides uh, Ivan over there uh, putting out uh, to watch my car, but um if uh, you got a 5.0 V8 manual transmission stock with no, no with no nothing, first thing you should get is the cat back exhaust. Preferably cat extreme, amazing, and uh, this is how this car should have came out of factory. I love it. It's, I'm, I'm amazed and uh, um, it's just one of the best mods that i ever done for this car. I gotta agree. But guys, like I said, it's going to be the end of the video. Next video I do, hopefully, I'm trying to do either A, Lauren Springs, or 2, I'm thinking about buying some Ricardo seats, but I don't know. Either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for liking, commenting, and doing everything you guys do. And guys... And like always, you need to grind to shine. So with that being said, peace out. Have a wonderful day.